What is up ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Brandon Coin YouTube channel. I'm sorry I missed my video yesterday, but I have exciting news. Uh, a leasing agent called me back and this is basically an update on the computer shop. So um, if you guys didn't know, I was working on putting a computer shop together and I had a location, but everything kind of fell through because those were new buildings and apparently something wasn't done to code and they've been held up uh, waiting on power to be installed but they couldn't get power installed because something was wrong. Anyway, uh, it looks like they're probably not going to get power for another foreseeable future, so I'm just going to kind of look in other areas. I put out some feelers, hadn't heard anything back until yesterday, and I actually have a meeting set up for this coming week, and um, it's, a, it's not as close as before. Uh, it's a little further away, about 25 to 30 minutes. But I'm thinking if I could, and they're small, and they're actually more reasonable in a very populated area. So they have units anywhere from 400 square feet all the way up to 800 square feet. And the prices range from 300 a month to 1000 a month. So if I could even get in one of the smaller units, I don't need a bunch of space. Um, I need a location so that way I can have a public meeting place where people can come, buy a computer, try a computer, uh, have a place to come back to if they have any warranty issues or if they want to buy, sell, trade, upgrade, all that kind of stuff. Just have a location where people can come to repairs. I want to offer a, a good deal or a good range of that kind of stuff. I'm probably not going to go invest in a bunch of inventory. I have a bunch of used computer parts. I'm sure I'll get more in on trade. Um, if people want anything specifically nowadays, they can just go online and order it but i will have like some basic stuff i'll, I'll carry some ssds i'm going to carry some some ram um you know just some of your normal stuff but um very specific things i probably won't maybe some like usb and mac adapters and you know all that that random stuff but um i wanted to show you guys some video or some pictures i was kind of trying to get some inspiration of how i want to actually set it up um, I was looking at this one right here, and I kind of like how the computers are on the side. I would almost envision, you know, if I have a small space, like this is probably bigger than the space I'm looking at, but do nothing in the middle, do desks on each side, and then set up computers at each desk. And I was looking, something super basic, like some little wooden desks like this. I like how they're like wood and metal, um, but I'd love to do... A computer, a monitor, keyboard, and mouse on every single one. That way, when somebody comes in, all those computers are for sale. But unlike this one, they're just sitting there. You can't try them. They're not plugged into anything. Each computer is plugged into something. It'll have a little printout below it with all the specs and the price. And then you can literally sit there. It's hooked up to the internet. If you wanted to try it before you buy it, it's there. You can. Um, and if you don't want to, then you don't have to either. But I feel like that's one thing that is not readily available is being able to like demo especially desktops and um like budget budget kind of stuff so um that that's kind of one of the big things so desk along the side and then once you get to the back i want to do some kind of shelving along the back wall um i don't know if i want to do something like this or deeper like something more retail-esque but shelves along the back wall to like put inventory up on um, because I have a bunch of stuff, a bunch of used parts. We can put that all over the place um, and have it available for sale if people want to buy it. And then in front of that, I'm thinking some display cases that run like three quarters of the way over, have some of the nicer stuff in the display cases. I feel like these prices are fairly reasonable. I know it's going to cost me a little bit to get everything like set up and going, but I want to try to keep my overhead minimal. That way... Um, we can, you know, weather the hard times. And I feel like opening a retail store in the beginning, that is definitely the hard times. Now, this is not going to be taking over my full-time job. Uh, I still do own a construction company. We do erosion control. I have equipment. I have trucks and trailers. But in the wintertime, it slows down. So I figured um, this is a perfect opportunity. We're coming to the end of summer. Um Maybe I could get into a location for this winter time, and that worked out good because the leasing agent said that they have some some stuff coming up uh, this winter. So um, everything, you know, the stars might be aligning. And if I can get in one of those units that's three, four hundred bucks a month, I feel like I could definitely facilitate that. Um, that way, I don't have to have people come into my house to buy computers. And that was kind of one of the like the deals me and my wife talked about. Once we got into this location, no more random people coming over. Uh, to buy stuff and sell stuff. It's just, we just 
separate business and and personal life. Um, so especially now that we have we have kids, it doesn't need to be intertwined any more than that. And I'm really looking forward to being able to like host an event and be like, all right, guys, if y'all want to come out and talking to you guys on the internet, if you want to come out or if you're close by, that kind of thing. Obviously, don't drive from across the moon, but. Uh, I could just have a location where people, if you're close by, you can stop in, say hi, say what's up. You don't even have to buy anything. You can just come and hang out and, you know, talk to me and if, you know, just have a good time. Whereas I've never been able to do that because I've never had a retail or a walk-in like public space. So I am pumped about that. Uh, but like I said, it's not going to be my full-time job. So I'm going to have some limited hours. I'm thinking somewhere along the lines of like probably three to four days a week, maybe like anywhere from about four to five hours. So that way I could go in, um, I could do my office work for my construction company while I'm chilling there. If I'm not working on any repairs, upgrades, that kind of thing. And then obviously offer appointment only or, uh, or any times outside of normal uh, scheduled times or scheduled hours are appointment only. So just call to make an appointment and then I could just run across town, go and open it up. If somebody wants to buy something, they can buy it, sell it, trade it, all that kind of stuff. Um, I'm also interested in doing the barter, like bartering with a lot of people because I did that in the past, especially when I was hustling a lot of computers, you know, I'd have a five, $600 computer. Somebody like, what will you give me for my old one? You know, I'm like, eh, maybe hundred, 200 bucks. You know, it saves them a little money. Uh, they weren't doing anything with that anyway, and then they don't have to go through the hassle of selling it. Because I don't know about you, but Facebook Marketplace has become rough nowadays. Uh, it seems like you just so full of so many daggone robots and scammers, and it's bad. So, um, but yeah, best case scenario, I sign a year lease and we end up renewing and it grows bigger and I'm, I potentially outgrow the smaller space, move to a bigger one, or at least move to a space that's closer to my house. Uh, worst case scenario, a sign of your lease, it doesn't work out. It's not like I have some crazy high expensive rent, cut my losses and um, yeah, you know, learn the old uh, retail law as they call it. Whereas was it like one out of every, so many stores actually ever even make it. But I'd love to take you guys along for the journey and show you all the, all the behind the scenes stuff. Um, that's one of the things that I enjoy watching other people get like stores up and running. Actually, I watched this one uh, this one guy like start a, sh a shoe store, and I, I don't know why. Like, I mean, I like shoes and stuff, but I literally watched him, you know, set the store up and then everything, and I I really enjoyed it. So hopefully, you guys will enjoy what I'm gonna offer. And um, yeah, no need to hold y'all up. Didn't mean to make this into any kind of long video, just, just an update video. So hopefully I'll have another update in the next coming days after our appointment or our, after our meeting. And, um, maybe we can go ahead and, you know, start looking at getting some, some shelving and some furniture and getting it, getting it set up and ready to go. So other than that, ladies and gentlemen, I want to wish y'all a happy night. And uh, I hope everybody has a great weekend. I will see you guys Monday night. Other than that, over and out. Adios.